The latest study reveals that infertility is currently on the rise globally. Some women end up childless by choice as some are forced to be childless by circumstances. However, the latter supersedes the former, as many women's hope to be called a mother proves futile and instead disappointments and aborted expectations become the song of the day. According to the World Health Organization Demographic and Health Survey, one in every four couples in developing countries are affected by infertility. In the African setup, the major purpose for marriage is childbearing, failure to which the woman is subjected to stigmatization by the society. Dr. Stephen Ngatia Njogu, a gynecologist, explains the biological aspect of infertility. Infertility is failure to conceive, and that means you are not using any family planning. After having had sexual intercourse uh, for a year, and what are the causes of infertility? Usually anatomical infections that bring about a blockage of fallopian tubes uh, or even ovarian. In most African setups, lack of children is solely blamed on women. Dr. Njogu explains that it is a matter that cuts across all the two genders. In an event where both the male and the female are medically fit for conception, but it is not coming forth, timing is of essence. Point, at what point does she ovulate? And then we tell them this is the best time to have sex or intercourse around that period. It's called fertile period. It's a period that takes about five days. Yes. And in case of impossibility in conception, here is the remedy. We treat the cause. If it is fallopian tubes that are blocked, we do a tuboplasty. That is an operation where we open the tubes where they are blocked. As you said, the productive technologies involve uh, like IVF. If somebody doesn't have uh, money for IVF, then we go to for adoption. <laughs> Nancy Ateng, a 31-year-old mother of one, narrates her struggle in the journey of begetting her own child. She got married in 2012 with the hope of being fruitful as it is the wish for many. And in 2012, God blessed me with a, with a pregnancy, be a preterm baby. That was so heartbreaking. So I went for the operation and the baby was removed and uh, he was kept in the incubator for almost a month. When the baby turned around seven months, the baby passed on. He had complications with the breathing. I took one year, that was in 2013. Around October, I conceived again. December, I miscarried. Years went by and they kept on trying. So since 2013, waiting upon the Lord to remember us. 2016, we waited. There was still nothing. They decided to seek medical attention, but to their surprise, they were both medically fit for conception. To check my tubes, the doctor said everything was okay. So my husband told me I can look for a relative or a sister or a friend who can carry for us the baby. That was what we were planning in 2018. So we were looking for funds. The journey was not easy, and finally, Nancy's dream came true. Surprisingly enough, God just did everything perfectly. The baby came out very perfectly, three kgs. Being that I had so many good friends who supported me, I can't say more. My husband has been supportive. And uh, why, why, why I say she's also encouraged me, because we, we've been through almost the same process. And when I see to her, she's just a beacon of hope. And here is their advice to childless couples. Let God do his work. Don't be pressured by families, by friends, by anyone. God's time is the best time. It is the joy of every woman to hold her baby in her arms. However, this is not always obvious as many women end up childless the whole of their lives. For Nancy, it has been a story of hope, encouragement from friends and family, as well as faith in God. And here is Emmanuel, God with us. Lydia Okeo, KUTV, Nairobi.